Hello, hello! Welcome to Ivana's Nosh Klai. This week was a bit challenging for me. I felt a bit emotionally drained. A lot of things is happening in Ukraine and I'm very worried very much. So I was a bit low on energy. It was a bit hard for me to make a new content for you. I still need your support and the best way to show it is just to write it in the comments, to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, help YouTube algorithm to share my content with other people, because this gives me a lot of energy and I'm honest about that and I hope it's okay with you. In today's video, what we will be talking about, it's about monthly expenses in Norway. For those who doesn't know, I actually made the same video a year ago in 2021 and I decided, okay, a lot of inflation is happening now a lot of things are increasing in price but in reality how much has this affected the monthly expenses for the required things so it's like things that you actually need to have and not something that you just have because of the Norwegian lifestyle that is very expensive and I decided to compare also is it the same is it higher could it be lower <laughs> maybe in some place so let's check it out together let's start the vlog One thing that I haven't done last time, I haven't used any recipes as baseline or something that would be interesting to uh, calculate in the future. This time I decided when we will be talking about food, food expenses, I will use banana bread recipe in order to calculate how much actually it costs in terms of the food expenses. So not including electricity or my time to make it, but actually ingredients that I'm using to make it how much they cost and then every next year when I will be making the similar type of video I will use it as a reference point and it, for me it's extremely interesting how much actually does it cost to make a banana bread at your home so please write it in the comments share it with me I'm very very curious and for now let's go into the first one what I'm using as a monthly expenses I am not accounting for the car or like for the gas, but I will name the prices uh, for the gas, how they changed in Norway for your comparison, for you to know. Uh, electricity also I'm not including, but I will name also how much it has changed uh, in the end of this video. Let's look at the first, what was in 2021 and what I shared with you. As you can see, I did a monthly expenses review for two cases when you want to rent a room that is very suitable for the students i would be honest this one much more suitable for student and not a regular person because you will be living with students and it can be challenging sometimes and second one is when you actually want to rent apartment and how much would it increase your expenses monthly. For these two cases, if we look on the apartment cost, I was expecting that due to inflation and increase of the interest rates in the bank, I was expecting that actually I would find it different. This is an apartment that costs 9,000 Norwegian kroners. Yes, it is very small, but still, uh, you have a large depositum that is three months um, uh, deposit for the three months. And for those who are interested, what is deposit? Deposit is kind of three months security payment uh, to the landlord. So in case if you don't have enough money to pay before you leave or something that they can use this money or if you have damaged uh, something in the house they and you don't want to pay for it so they can use this money but in any other cases no they cannot uh, touch this money and it will be on a separate bank, bank account from you and from the landlord and when you will be leaving or like you stop live in this apartment or room you will get this money back we did it not once and we always got money back so it's not something that is crazy it's very common for Norway so if you look on this apartment it actually it is very cute in my point of view yes a bit small kitchen but if you don't spend too much time here and uh, probably uh, one person it looks kind of okay and actually this location where it is um 
it's not that bad in my point of view and Centrum is very close it's just here it is uh, the main uh, railway station bus station this area is not that good but I believe that this location is really not bad and then you have here a e Quebec uh, park uh, that is really nice with a beautiful view over Oslo so this is for the 9000 I also found another one that is 9500 and you can see like for 9, 5, for 9500 you also have a really nice apartment that is in completely new house that was built in 2019 you get also like everything that you need to have I think that uh, maybe it's like a table uh, challenges that is very small because you can open this one but if you have guests maybe it's not the best case but still like for living for one person it looks fine uh, it is located further away from the centrum so if the previous one was here then this one you can see that you actually will spend some time on the traveling there is also of course much larger and uh, much better apartments that cost a bit more money um, 12,000 per month for this one so you can see you can stretch a bit and then you can find a bit more suitable for you and you need to account for this three months deposit on the first time when you sign the contract not all the time it's only for the first time so you can see that the apartment cost uh, it is between nine and ten thousand in the area where I live it's not inside of Oslo it's a bit further away but here the prices are much higher much higher than inside of Oslo so it is surprising to me then if we go into the room cost a room cost also varies a lot it starts the cheapest one that I found it is 5100 and it goes of course up more but the regular price will be from 5100 to 6000 it was very hard for me last year to find something at the range of 5.5 uh, uh, and it was like not so many I think in uh, around 5000 but it's more or less similar to what it was last year so as you can see there is many different options for the rooms uh, this one for instance it looks more decent but it is only for girls yente yente collective it means that yente is a girl so it's for girls and you can see it looks quite kind of nice clean you get the room you share this living space kitchen and bathroom but you get your personal room and location it is uh, by the way for the rooms it's much further away from the centrum so it is much closer to where I live and I live in this area so you can see you will spend some time traveling to the place where you will be working or studying or whatever but the deposit of course is lower just because the monthly payment is lower so it's one of the options then if we go we have another option that is for 5407 kroners with much lower deposit at 8000 and it includes um, electricity internet uh, it is only for one year rent but you can see that okay the room is uh, small but you have some storage space um, you share the bathroom that is not as nice and you don't have any pic pictures of the living room so who knows maybe it's not that nice but location wise for those who are interested it's much more closer to the centrum uh, still not the center but it's much much closer so the previous one was like up there and this one is much more closer to the center and then let's look at one more case this one is 5800 uh, with deposit of 11600 so you can see it is uh, includes also warm water heating and in e internet but not electricity so that's why this one i think it will come at very expensive price due to the electricity so if you want to rent something include electricity in your rent because just in a second i will tell you what is happening with electricity in norway and then let's look one more case it's 5100 with deposit of 15300 it's like six rooms in one house and also one year payment and it also includes everything so this one is nice because electricity internet and other um, expenses like warm water taking care of your 
um, garbage and so on. So it's in such house, you can see entrance and then different examples of the rooms that are there for rent and it's more than one room. You will share the kitchen that looks very nice, clean, new. So this one looks really nice. As you can see, there is so many different options and last time I could share only one option per price because it was maybe a bad time. I don't know. So this is the prices for the apartment and for the room. Let's look on the public transportation. It has increased slightly in price and now it costs a bit over 800 Norwegian kroners. It is 814 Norwegian kroners. You also will need a SIM card and you will be paying bill every month, right? Because you will use uh, it at least for the internet. Again, I found, I think it's very cheap and it's much cheaper than it was last time. So now we have many more options. And for instance, for the one call for one gigabyte of internet, you need to pay 149 per month. So it is a huge, huge difference comparing to the last year and it covers completely the public uh, transportation increase of price. So for now, it looks like actually now it's slightly cheaper to live in Oslo than it was a year ago. Very strange. Wow, this is amazing. And, and of course, the last one, the last one, it is a food. Let's talk about food expenses. Food expenses, unfortunately, are extremely hard to calculate and extremely hard to estimate because every person eats, consumes a different amount of food and also can have different allergies, habits and so on. So for me, I still believe that it's extremely hard to compare, uh, but I can tell you some of the prices that I see increasing. One, it is a cost of the eggs. Yep. But for instance, we are buying a pack of eggs that has like 24 eggs. I really like them. They are large, like medium large size. And now their cost, their cost is 74.9 Norwegian kroners. But a year ago, it was 64.9. So it has increased by 10 kroners. Lately, lately, coffee. Coffee has increased in price as well. So the one that we were buying, it is uh, from Kiwi, Evercoot Ever Coffee. And now it costs almost 80 kroners. But the last year, or <laughs> even like three, four months ago, we were able to buy it when it was discounted like 59, but now it's 79. So it's like 20, 20 kroners per pack. And of course, like other, like meat has increased slightly, fish has increased slightly, but I still believe if you will be smart into how you organize your food and how you cook, you should be able to still cover all your needs with 3000 Norwegian kroners because I believe that this increase in price that it has happened now, it's not that huge. It could have been worse, but it's not that huge. So I still believe that you can make it in 3000 Norwegian kroners. This time, let's look on how much banana bread ingredients cost in Norway. So I have made today this banana bread and then I calculated uh, everything that I used, approximately how much would it cost for me to, to make. So I took two eggs from that pack that we are buying, three aged bananas, or like dark, when they're becoming to be dark. And very interesting that in uh, the stores, you can buy such bananas for 50% reduced price. And this is what I did, it was like five Norwegian kroner price. For two eggs, it is six Norwegian kroners, based on the price of 24 eggs that we are buying. Then I used one uh, half of the butter. Uh, I'm buying the butter that of course you could buy a pack and then melt it down, but I'm buying a bit different type of butter that is suitable for some parts of baking and also frying. It costs about 29 Norwegian kroners. So I think roughly one half of butter cup, it's like five Norwegian kroners. Then I used one cup of sugar. Sugar costs 15 Norwegian kroners per kilo. So it's about three Norwegian kroners per one cup of sugar and two cup of flour and flour costs like one kilogram 10 Norwegian kroners so this one is a bit closer to five Norwegian kroners maybe a bit less but also I used slightly salt uh, also some of the spices and baking soda. This one is, was a bit hard for me to calculate. So I put like all of these extra small things as one Norwegian kroner, one or two Norwegian kroners. And in total, uh, banana bread cost 
actually is 26 Norwegian kroners. Can you imagine on the 26 Norwegian kroners that is about $2.66, less than $3. I spent on making this banana bread. Then if you look in the total picture, you can see that actually it, it looks like it became a bit cheaper to live in Oslo these days. And at some extent, yes, it's true. And maybe the main changes are coming a bit later because banks are increasing interest rate and now much more than before. So I think it would affect and the prices, renting prices, but maybe there is not that much competition or like it's a bit less competition. Who knows? Let's see. But the reality is that the main things that are affected by infl inflation, it is gas prices because gas prices increased like two times from the year before and especially lately. So I think the increase of the cost uh, of the products, it will come a bit later. So we just need to wait a bit more. Electricity. Electricity has increased. Oh my gosh. If before a year ago, we were spending a, somewhere in between like very close to one Norwegian kroner per kilowatt. So now even during summer, we are paying more than two Norwegian kroners. And during winter, it was times when we were paying like four Norwegian kroners, six Norwegian kroners per kilowatt. So the this this like increased from two to three four times more than the year before, and for those who use a lot of electricity or like if you don't have it included in your rent, their cost cost has increased a lot. Then you will spend a lot of money. That's like really huge huge change that has happened, and I'm not sure if it's gonna go back. Even though we got uh, help from the government, our bills have increased for electricity like twice so this one is like very extreme in my point of view yep so if i haven't covered something in this video let me know in the comments so i can make another video and show you more details about expenses in norway thank you very much guys for watching me until the end i hope you like this video and see you on thursday bye